Aloha everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. We are going to do some Pokemon counting. Okay, so uh, this is a Dodua and it will count on its two heads. So it is going to count in base two. Okay. So if it is going to count on in base two, the only numerals that it will know is zero and one. Just two numerals, okay? And let's think about its place value. Its place values will be once, and then every group of two, things will move up to the next place value so two ones would be two and then two twos would be four two groups of four would be eight and then two groups of eight would be sixteen so that would be um the place value chart for base two right Oh, what happened in the next place value? It will take two groups of whatever the place value is to move up to the next place. So there will be two groups of 16 and that would be 32. All right, so let's go and count how many fish there are. Hmm. If we're talking about how many fish, we would say, well, let's first go count how many there are in base 10. Hmm. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I counted 19 in base 10. So this question really is asking for, how do you write 19 in base 10 to base two? How do you turn 19 in base 10 into base two? Meaning 19 in base 10 is equivalent to what in base two? Well, since we have 19, 32 is not going to be a numerals there, right? So there's nothing in 32. You will have to start with 16. Well, how many 16 are there in 19? There is one 16. So one 16, so we would say 19 is equal to 16. And then there's three left over. Well, with three left over, we are not having any eight. We're not having any four. We could have two. One, two. And so this three right here is going to be a two and a one. So you will have one single. Therefore, 19 in base 10 can be written as 10011 zero, zero, one, one in base 2. Now you try and count the number of starfish in base 2. So, so as you continue on this worksheet, we will say an executor is going to count on his head. So this executor would count in base three. The IV sore is going to count on his leaves. So this is going to count in base four. Star U gonna count in, of course, 
base 5. Magneton is going to count in base 6 because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 magnets. So go ahead and complete this activity starting with what are the numerals? How's the place value chart look like? And then you can go and count how many items there are. So in this case right here, you will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 sunglasses in base 10 can be written as what in base 6? Okay, so that's the question. So again, in base 6, you will have six numerals. It will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the six numerals. How does place value chart look like? Well, since we are in base 6, it will take six groups of whatever the current base is to move to the next one. The first place value is always going to be 1. Since we are in base 6, you will take six groups of 1. That would be 6 times 1 is 6. So the next place value is 6. The third place value will take six groups of 6, which would be 36. Right? And then the fourth place value would be six groups of 36. I'm not sure what six group is 36 is. Um, whatever that will be, that's too many. We don't need that for the number of glasses here. Okay, so we only have 10 glasses. So we know we're not going to go here. We have how many six are there in 10? Well, we know 10 can be broken into six and four. Okay, six, one group of six, and how many left over? Four singles. So 10 in base 10 is the same as one group of six and four singles in base six. So we will write one four in base six. So next here, we will say, well, how many marbles are there? Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a 7 by 10 in base 10, right? A 7 by 10 in base 10 is 70 marbles in base 10. 70 marbles in base 10 is what in base 6? Okay, so let's look at our place value chart. Again, we would say once 6, 6 groups of 6 will make 36, and then 36 times 6, 36 mm -hmm. times 6 is um, 30 times 6 is 180, 6 times 6 is 36, uh, together we have 216, so this next place value is 216. So, if we think about what we have here, we have 70, right, we have 70 marbles in base 10. How do you write 70 in base 10? in base 6, right? How do you translate that? Well, 70, how many digits would it be in base 6? Well, we don't have 216, so that's not a digit there. Look at 36. How many times does 70, um, I mean 36 goes into 70? We only have one. Okay, so 70 minus 36 that we use is going to have 34 left. 
34. Oopsie. How many groups of six are there in 34? There are five groups of six. And remember, five is a good numeral because if you are in base six, your numerals are zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five groups of six. Five groups of six is going to make 30. We have four left over. That means we have four singles. So 70 in base 10 is the same as 1, 5, 4 in base 6. And that is how we convert from base 10 to base 6. Go ahead and complete all of these as your notes. And be sure to email me if you have any questions.